So for most engine videos that we do, we also do an accompanying problems and weak spots video that just gives you a heads up as to things to look out for. The K20 is a really reliable engine. So don't come away from this video with the idea that it's not reliable. It is probably one of the most reliable engines out there. Certainly one of the most reliable performance engines. So don't be put off by anything in this video, but we're just aiming to give you a heads up on the common issues and problems that people get with the K20 and by implication often the K24 that shares a lot of components with the K20 design. <laughs> So problems after you've tuned your K20 are generally associated with restrictions in the airflow or the exhaust. That's the most common area that people don't address properly when they've tuned their K20 engine. And these engines move a phenomenal amount of air. So unless your exhaust bore is about three inches, you are going to hit problems when it comes to tuning your K20 and raising those power levels significantly. Please just boot that like button for us. It helps us to get out there. So a problem with the valves, if they start to move outside of the tolerances, you can get a, a weird banging or knocking sound. A similar thing will happen if you use low octane fuel. And again, I would strongly recommend you use higher octane fuel in your K20. These engines were really designed and built for those higher octane fuels. And don't worry about the extra cost. They will be much more efficient when you use those high octane fuels. So you will get better fuel economy from it as well, which will negate the cost of the fuel in the first place. Oil leaks are pretty rare, but typically the front crankcase seal is prone to weep a little bit of oil. You'll notice the burning oil smell that you get from the car when this is happening. And it's just a simple matter of replacing the seal and the problem goes away. Don't be tempted to use additives in the oil that repair leaky seals. They're not effective long term and they can have other knock on effects within the engine itself if they've not been properly formulated and designed. So idling problems can be related to the idle control valve or the air metering sensors. If they become fouled or dirty over time, that can certainly cause rough running and poor idling. And it's probably one of the first things you should do if you start to get rough running or poor idling on the K20. The engine mounts are the large sort of rubber mounts that connect the engine to the frame of the car. And as they age, like all of us, they degrade and don't work as effectively. And that results in extra vibration going to the engine from the chassis and also from the engine into the chassis. So it's an annoyance having the rattling noise or the knocking noise, but those vibrations can cause other problems if they're not addressed. So if you start to suspect that those engine mounts have worn and you're getting excessive vibration, it certainly makes sense to address that problem. And another issue that quite a few people have reported, and we've had feedback from our members and visitors and commenters on this channel, and it's associated with the cam lobe. It's the exhaust the cam lobe is prone to pitting or galling. Now that's usually down to an issue with the metal that's used. People have often blamed it on the oil, but it generally just, it just involves the one cam lobe. And if it was the oil, you would expect all of the cam lobes to be affected in the same way. So the common consensus, although there is still a lot of debate as to the cause of the issue, but it is probably just down to a bad batch of exhaust camshafts that were made and down to the metals that were used and the way those metals were treated and the cam was actually constructed. So you'll notice this as a, a clattering or chattering in the engine. You'll probably think it's the valves or it's starting to pink a little. And that's the sort of time where you might think about adjusting the valves. But at that point, check the cam lobes. And if those cam lobes have started to degrade, it would certainly make sense to just chuck the old cam away and replace the cam and all the ancillary components related to that and just avoid that problem. And that really is the only major issues that happen with the K20. Everything else is generally down to bad maintenance or user neglect. So this is a very, very short problems video. And so it should be for something like the K20. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'd love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.